Hi, welcome to another IELTS video. In this video, we are going to read through an essay, and at eight different points in the essay, you will have vocabulary options that you can choose from. And I'm hoping this video will help to build your lexical resources further. If you find the video helpful, come join us at IELTSnetwork.com, and for more lessons like this one, visit IELTSwritingblog.com. The question to which the essay is a response reads, Some people think that they can learn better by themselves than with a teacher. Others think that it is always better to have a teacher. Which do you prefer? Use specific reasons to develop your essay. I'll give you a second to read the question again to yourself. So in this question, we are being asked directly what we prefer, and thus to respond precisely to this essay question, we are going to have to state um, something like, I prefer as our thesis. So you will see some personal language in this essay, and that is simply because it is asked for by the essay question. The process of learning is a very personal thing. Thus, a study arrangement that works for one person may be entirely counterproductive, countercultural, counterintuitive for another. I'll give you a few seconds to choose the correct word. And the answer here would be counterproductive. A study arrangement that works for one person may be counterproductive for another. Countercultural makes no sense. Counterintuitive um, refers to something that goes against common sense, so that would be kind of an awkward way to word this portion of the essay. Okay, here we get to our thesis. For me, I much prefer learning from a teacher to independent study. The merits of a pupil-instructor partnership will be shown by looking at how teachers can both bequeath and still derive motivation and cater lesson plans to a student's interests. And the correct answer here would be instill. Bequeath is a word that refers to leaving something to someone via a will. So that would obviously not fit here. Uh, derive, if we, if we wrote it, teachers can derive motivation. This would mean that the motivation is going to the teachers, which is not what we're trying to say. We're trying to say the teachers are giving motivation to the students. So instill. Firstly, Students that work with teachers are often more motivated than students that learn alone. For example, I recall being driven to complete readings for small study sessions at university because I knew my professor expected me to engage in this way, do so, capitalize on my studies. And the answer here would be do so. Engage in this way is just awkward. We probably also need to stick in a noun here. So that doesn't work. Capitalize on my studies. Um, also very awkward. Capitalize is a, is a word usually reserved for uh, something relating to business. So no. Because I knew my professors expected me to do so. Thus the accountability that teachers bring to the, I'm just going to insert a page break so we can look at this on the same page. Thus, the accountability that teachers bring to the accountability arrangement, student needs, learning mix,
can greatly encourage students to work hard. And the correct answer here would be learning mix. Accountability arrangement doesn't really make sense. It also repeats the word accountability, which we have in this same sentence, so that cannot be the answer. Um, student needs um, not specific enough. So this would not be the correct answer. Learning mix can greatly encourage stu students to work hard. This is one of the main reasons I prefer learning with a teacher. Now I know some people are wondering why so much personal language. Well, the essay question, as we were pointing out, it asks for this. And as you know, the final sentence in your supporting paragraph should reflect directly upon a thesis, and that thesis should answer directly the essay question. So these portions of our essay are going to also have some personal language. In addition to this, instructors can often energize, fortify, build, subjects in a way that makes them easier to study. The correct answer here would be energize. Fortify subjects would mean to make them stronger, which doesn't really make sense, and it's not in keeping with what we stated in our outline sentence. Build subjects, um, they're not really building the subjects, they are energizing them. They are making them more um, entertaining and easier for students to learn. For instance, a great high school teacher of mine used to teach Shakespearean plays in a very ubiquitous, animated, interested manner. And the correct answer here would be animated. Ubiquitous means common, so we're not saying that the teacher taught them in a normal, common man manner. That, that would not make him a unique teacher. And interested manner, um, no, that's awkward. You might say interesting manner, but by far the best answer here, the only answer is animated. His enthusiasm for the subject instilled interest in his students. And this accelerated the speed with which pupils digested, ate, gorged the information in his class, his classes. The answer would be digested. They don't eat the information. That's you, you could say that, but it's just a little bit too informal. Um, gorge means to eat something very quickly and in a, an uncontrolled manner. So the correct answer here would be digested. Thus, this is yet another reason I would rather study with a teacher than alone. As the above makes clear, there are several advantages instructor-based learning has that independent study does not. Although everyone learns in a similar fashion, differently, productively, I personally derive multiple benefits from having a teacher to interact with. And as we made clear at the beginning of the essay, uh, we stated that people learn in different ways. So in, in a similar fashion, that's not in keeping with what our essay said, learn productively, um, no, some people are not capable of learning in a productive way. They, uh, we're saying that everyone learns differently. And that's fine, it's just that we personally, or I personally, derive multiple benefits from having a teacher to interact with. Thus, finding a fitting student-teacher study arrangement is important. So I hope you found that quick exercise helpful. Please like this video, subscribe to my videos, and come join us on the IELTS Network Forum. Thanks very much, and have a nice evening.